This problem will convert multiple view to isometric view. If you take a look at the two given views, your first thing which you need to do is to determine which one is the front. Remember, front view, it is the view, give you most descriptive information. It shows most of the visible lines. So, if you compare the two given views, we can determine this is the front because it involves most of the visible lines. And this is, must be our right side. After you determine these two, you can see we also can complete the missing top view, which should be on top of the front and line up with the front view. And these two share the same width. To draw the isometric view, it will be better to determine the location of the each surfaces in the two given views. So in the front, we're going to label the each surfaces by A, B, and C. And then we're going to try to look for these surfaces in the right side. Because the surface A and the surface B are separated by the, a horizontal line, this information tells us a and B, they must be not at the same level. If you project B to the right side, as you can see, because the front and right side, they share the same height, and when you project surface B to the right side, the edge, which shares the same height as the surface B, it is right in front. So this is, must be the surface edge B in the right side view. Remember, so far we have only learned normal surfaces. To the normal surfaces in the three principal views, if you see it in one true size surface, you are going to see it as uh, surface edges in the other two views. In our case, because B is a true size surface in the front, so you will be able to see it as a surface edge in the right side and edge in the top as well. Okay, so A, when you project it to the right side, the edge which shares the same height as a surface A in the right side, which is right here. So this is the surface edge A. Surface C, when you project it to the right side, the edges share the same height as the surface C in the right side, which is right here. So this is the surface edge C. After you label these three surfaces in the right side view, we can understand B is a surface right in front you are facing. So we'll be able to check the width and the height of a surface B in the front view, start to draw this surface B in the isometric view. I'm going to determine the start point. And because to this model, it is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 units wide. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 units high and 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 units deep, we will be able to draw the glass box. The model we completed must fit in this glass box. And then we can base on this glass box to start to draw the surface B. So surface B is 3 units high and 4 units wide. This is a B. After we finish B, we can move on to draw surface. I'm sorry, I messed up. I need to redo it. This problem will convert multiple views to isometric view. You are given two views. So first thing we need to determine is which one is a front view? 
Remember, front view gives you the most descriptive information. It contains most of the visible lines. If you compare the two views, apparently this is our front. This is the right side. After you determined the two given views, apparently we can draw the missing top view on top of the front. And uh, we can determine the isometric view. In order to draw the isometric view, we first need to determine the size of the glass box. If you take a look at the front and right side, you can see this glass box is actually 1, 2, 3, 4 units wide, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 units high, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 units deep. So follow the isometric grids. We can determine the size of the glass box, and the final finished model must fit in this glass box. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 units wide, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 units high, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 units deep. This is the glass box we're going to use to help us complete the final model. To draw the model in the, uh, this glass box, we need to go back to the front view to label the each uh, surface and to know where they are in the right side view. Remember, so far we have learned normal surfaces. To the normal surfaces, the other surfaces, you are going to see it as a true size surface in one view. You are going to see it as a surface edges in the other two views. So in the front view, apparently we have three surfaces. We're going to label them as A, B, C. Surface B, when you project it to the right side, Following the height of a surface B, as you can see in the right side, you're actually going to look for surface edge B, which is the three units high. And the surface edge, which has the three units high in the right side, is actually right in front. So this is the surface edge B in the right side. Surface A, surface B, they are separated by a horizontal line in the front view, which means A and B, they are actually not at the same level. And when you project A to the right side, you can see the edge which shares the same height as the surface A in the right side is actually right here, which means surface A is actually pushed back from surface B by two units. Remember in the right side, this is the front side of the model. And this is the right back side of the model. All right, now we move on to the surface C. When you project C to the right side, apparently surface edge C is right here. So C is pushed in from surface B by two blocks as well. After you know the location of the each surface, you can start to draw the isometric view. Because the surface B is right in front, definitely we can start to draw the surface B. Start from the corner of the glass box. We can go up by three blocks and then continue by three blocks to complete surface B. You probably need to erase the rest of the lines and to finish the other surfaces. Okay. After we finish B, let's move on. In order to draw surface A or surface C, we actually need to uh, take a look at uh, the other surfaces uh, surface B is connected to. For example, starting to A, Starting with A, you, you know A is pushed in from surface B by two blocks. So between A and B, there is a, actually a surface, which is a two blocks deep, connecting A and B. Because A is one by one square box, so here is A. In order to draw surface C, 
we actually can also move on to see the side surface surface B is connecting to in the right side view. Because this is surface edge B, as you see, this is a, a surface, uh, we are going to call it a surface D, surface B is connecting to. And so we can starting from the edge in the right side view and to draw surface D. This is a D. And the D is a connecting to C, as you see in the right side. And the C is a one block by one block square box. So here is a C. Of course, on top of C, there is a one more normal surface, which is a two blocks deep, and also connecting to D right on the top. We can call it as a surface E. After it, we can move on to the, sur on the surface connecting to A on the top. From the right side view, we can see this surface is actually two blocks deep. So starting from the surface A, we can finish this top surface. We can call it F. After it, we can move on and to the other surfaces, uh, the current surfaces connecting to. For example, there must be a side surface sur uh, connecting to surface B and surface F and surface A. And this surface uh, right on the top of, of B connecting to A, we can call it the surface G. Okay. All right. One more surface missing, which is uh, connecting to the side surface. This one we can call it H. And which is right here, and because that the 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 partial of a surface uh, M is blocked by the surface C, E, and a D in isometric view, we only need to show the visible lines. So we need to stop right here. This is a complete isometric view. Once you complete isometric view, you can see it becomes much easier to draw the missing top view. Because the top is on top of the front, so definitely you can start to take a look at the surfaces parallel to the top of the glass box and start to draw these uh, true size surfaces in the top view. The surfaces parallel to the top of the glass box, they are E, F, G, M. Because the surface G is the surface uh, connecting to the surface B right in front, we can start from the corner and to draw surface G first, which is two blocks deep. Finish G. And then G is connecting to F, which is two blocks deep as well. So here's the F. And now we can move on to the surface E on the other side. E is on the back and the two blocks deep as well. So here's a G, E. After we finish E, we can start to draw surface M. M is the surface between E and F connecting to G. And keep moving connected to E, and so this surface, L-shaped surface, is surface M. Make sure top, front, they line up vertically. Front, right side, they line up horizontally. Double check, make sure you don't miss any hidden lines in the multiple views. Make sure do not draw the hidden lines in the isometric view. This concludes our exercise.